So thank you for being here, and um, I'm going to explain how we do last mile delivery for fresh food and groceries, and how we do it for Amazon and all the other customers. But I'm going to tell you first something that you already know. So it's grocery shopping actually sucks. Whoever needs to do it and has kids like I am and needs to go to the supermarket doesn't like it too much. So uh, that's a really big problem that's going to be solved right now. So there's. Uh, um, all this grocery is the biggest consumer vertical, and it's moving online now. So the, the predictions, you can find as many studies as you want, but it's a three, bil three trillion uh, consumer vertical in the 10 biggest countries, and it's going to move online by 10% in the next four years. So who's going to do that? And I just put up three of the players on the forefront, and yes, there is Amazon Fresh on it, and yes, everybody has read that they, bold, uh, uh, they, they bought Whole Foods uh, last week, or they're trying to buy Whole Foods last week. So they're one of the four, uh, forerunners. They do more on-demand delivery. They are the meal kits provider. Everybody has read about Blue Apron API. HelloFresh is waiting. Marley Spoon is doing quite well with Martha Stewart in US and also in Europe. And there's also the traditional supermarkets like Rewe that they're moving online. They're doing, they're investing 300 million in that segment. So what I'm going to tell you is there's the biggest consumer vertical moving online and there's the big guys doing that and they have all one common problem. And that is last mile delivery. So if they're trying to ship the goods to the consumers, they can use solutions that are not catered for fresh food, like the traditional uh, parcel delivery companies, or they build the fleets by themselves, investing in cars and people with high capex, scaling slowly, or they use solution with a bad UX. So for where your shipment is probably coming tomorrow between nine and six, and I hope you are there, otherwise we'll leave it in some, some nasty places. So the existing solutions for fresh food, uh, for last delivery for fresh food, are not catered for fresh food and groceries. And that's exactly the reason why we build fleet. So we do a last mile delivery for fresh food and grocery. And we do that by using chilled vans where it's necessary. We use, it, we use drivers that know uh, food and know uh, regulations around food. We do it with existing couriers, so we don't build, we don't buy cars and, and install new capacities. We use existing capacities. And we do it with a great UX, meaning scheduled deliveries. You can pick one hour time slots, live tracking, calling if you're not there. So everything you need to do for fresh food and, gro for fresh food and groceries, because it's different. Consumers have the highest requirements for that kind of product, despite of shoes or electronics. How we do it? Quite, quite simple. And now I'm coming to the point how we do it with uh, existing fleets. We're using existing couriers. These are one man in a van, but also courier partners that has 40 or 50 vans. They are, they are really great at delivering stuff. They're not, they, they're not, they have, don't have any technology. They're driving around with paper and pen. So we're building tools for them and give it to them to make them focus on driving around and delivering and not taking care of everything else. So on one part, we have the couriers. We provide tech for them. We're using existing capacities. We make it transparent who's driving around and doing what. And we make them bookable. That's what our platform does. We find the best courier partner for every shipment, for every batch of shipments. And we automate that. We provide live tracking. We provide everything to make the, their delivery really attractive for the retailers, where we aggregate shipments over different retailers. And we do that, yeah, for sure, with an easy-to-integrate API. So every retailer can use our API to push delivery requests, and we take care of them by matching them with the best courier partner. But we don't shy away from operational responsibility. That means we are responsible for the operations. We take care if something goes wrong. And we have the contract with, with the, the uh, retailers. We're not just much matchmaking. We are really in the game. And um, how far have we gone? We're a pretty young company, one and a half years um, old. That's, that's our shipment. So we've, we're active in eight cities. And uh, funny, yeah, we, we work for all the three uh, companies you've seen on one of the previous slides. So we're working for Amazon Fresh for their launch in Berlin. We are able to do some work for Rewe. We are for sure delivery partner for Marley Spoon. We have another uh, 20 plus customers that, that we are active in. I'm not shy to say that we're doing 60K in revenue. We're growing 30% month over month so far. So it's a, pri it's a nice, nice vertical to be in. We're solving a real problem 
our customers like what we're doing, and um, that's that's really nice. So I want to stick out some some one one thing. Why do they use us and not others? It's because we really cater to fresh food that helps them retain their customers better. Their customers use more their service, so we can help our retail customer save packaging waste. The consumer experience is better. That means their cohorts are better, and that's why they they really they're really using Fleet. Who's doing that? We have a great team. I'm I'm really it's a pity that I can't mention everybody on there. So I'm 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 picking just just the three of us. You have. Luis, um, 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 he's our CTO. He doesn't know and knows nothing about logistics. That's why we wanted him in the team. He's great at platforms. He's been CTO at Rocket for two years. He has been at Twitter. So he knows everything about, pl about platform and is complimenting us really nice. I have Niels. Niels I've been working with at DHL. He's taking care of operations, making sure that our courier partners are, are happy and increasing steadily. So we're going to 200 courier partners soon. So he's taking care of that. I've been 12 years at DHL. If you know Pack Station, the parcel lockers, they thank you. That was my project back in 2002. And um, I'm taking care of sales and, and, and yeah, fundraising when we need to do it. And um, yeah, so that's, that's Fleet. If you take away Three things about Fleet. It's we are logistics nerd. We do last mile delivery for Amazon Fresh and others. And uh, yeah, we are. Uh, that was just the beginning. So we are here to go into other verticals, and we will start that sooner than later. Thank you.